Why I Drama presents Amidst the Sun and Rain. Amidst the Sun and Rain is a play about parent-child relationships, the struggle of one's autonomy set against parental expectation. The play follows Harry Yong on his last moments and the interactions between his children, Rachel and Sebastian, after his passing. Scene 1. Park. Harry Yong's Funeral. When Rachel asked me to say a few words about her father, I felt honoured. It would be a privilege to speak out a man like Harry Yong. I want to speak about all he's done for me, how much I've enjoyed working with him in the past. But somehow, saying these things out loud would confirm that he's gone. When I go into work next week, he won't be there. No more wise words. No more lame jokes. He's... he's gone. He's gone, Rich. No, no, it's not over. It can't be over. No, I'm not late. This is not our time. What did you tell me, Rach? I wanted to say goodbye. Even I didn't get to say goodbye. So how could I tell you anything? What do you mean? He wasn't sick, sir. He... He went to sleep on a bench and he just... He left us. Then why did you call me? Didn't you hear what I just said? You didn't call me and tell me that he passed away. I had to speak to some guy named Christopher. A man I don't even know. Call me and tell me that he passed away. Chris had not everything. Not everything's about you, Seb. You know, Rich, for once, for once, I wish they could just be truthful with me. About what? Just say it! Say that you hate me. You would hate me for leaving the family and the company. And for chasing my dreams. While you're stuck here running the business. Fine. I'll say it. I hate you! Where were you, Seth? Where were you? I was the one who stayed by his side holding everything together. I was the one who gave him control over every single fiber of my dream till I had nothing left. You want the truth? I was here and you? You were a ghost. Now I remember why we haven't spoken to each other in the last few years. I can see why you like taking the shortcut through the park, Mr. Young. It's pretty. Before Rachel and Sebastian were born, and I, before I was a young man, my wife and I would, you know, usually come here to... Bakdo. Um, it was our favorite place. Maybe you could bring Rachel here? I, I don't know what you mean, sir. I'm old, Christopher. But I'm not blind. Maybe you should tell her. <clears throat> There's nothing to tell, sir. 
Don't run from the sun, Christopher. Years from now, you don't want to be thinking, I wish I told her when she's married off to some other idiot. Are you calling me an idiot, sir? <laughs> you said it, why not? Not me. I shall think about it, sir. Good, good. You know, I think I'll stay here for a while. Are you sure? Don't stay out too late. It's getting dark soon. <laughs> you night more than Rachel. Because a, a friend of a friend expressed interest who happens to be the director. And what does he want with you? Some random Chinese boy from Singapore? Is it so hard to believe that I'm talented? Oh, if the world only needed talent for success, then yes, 
maybe I will give you my support. And I did, sir. I paid for your fancy arts education. I entertained your years of struggling to find work after. I helped you in my arms when you came back home because you said you couldn't take it anymore. I gave you a position in the company. I helped you build yourself up again. But this boy isn't me, Ba. I'm not Rachel. And I'm not you. But you are my son, my heir. And all this is yours. I don't want this. I never had. Do you leave? This is it. Let's see how long you can live on your dreams. Why can't you just be happy for me, Ba? I thought you, of all people, would understand. You chased the woman you were told you couldn't have. You built this company after failing twice before. So why do you get to chase your dreams? And I don't! I, I can't watch you fail. So this is it. Just like that. Yours, you know. What is? Bar's company. It's it's all yours. Why would I want it? He left it to you. You're his son. His heir. What a doctor's father's vessels of broken dreams and disappointments. Do you think that after everything that you've done, Ba would just leave everything to me? Yes. I do! Then, then why were you the last person he called before he passed away? How do you know about that? Christopher told me. Doesn't mean anything. He had a heart attack. He called for help. That's all. You're wrong. I'm his son. But you, you are his heir. Fine. 
I always have fun with you. Is Christopher joining us? You're just as bad as Bob. Let's get off the ring, shall we? Christmas, a boyfriend? <laughs> no, I think. What are you going to do? 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 What